The shoes of the 70s, <laughs> <laughs> a horror show. Every moment, it would be like, are you seeing my feet in this shot? That's before I come, <laughs> before I come to the set, it was like, are my feet in the shot? And 90% of the time, my feet were in the shot. <laughs> to the point to where Ruth actually got an Adidas sh sneaker. And from a distance, it looked like I had on like regular platforms. And when we got close, it was like, who is it? <laughs> Adidas sneaker. <laughs> I was thinking about putting out a comedy record. Comedy? You've been a singer, a shake dancer? Ha! It's real hard to break in. I do whatever it takes to get in. I've been a big fan of Rudy Ray Morris for years and years, and I thought he had an incredible story. I didn't have to do any studying because I've watched his <laughs> movies since I was, you know, a teenager. Now, I wanted to work with this master right here. <laughs> and this cat gave me an opportunity. He said, you know, they had been thinking about who to cast. They thought I'd make a good, uh, a good choice. And so when he said, hey, would you be interested? I said, absolutely, to get a chance to work with this man right here. It's not your typical African-American female portrayal. There's no stereotypes whatsoever. And I think that is one of the most attractive things as an actress to come across, especially a black actress, in which you can just be a strong black woman and that that's enough. It was um, a major challenge and it was a, a beautiful journey, but it's just so freeing. I had a genuine passion for, for Rudy's films and I thought it was, it's subject matter that we've just never seen before. And something in the midst of reading the script and having a conversation with Craig, I felt that there was a piece of the black experience that Rudy represents that I thought would be nice to be able to, to shine a light on. And then as the project went further, as we it, it were getting closer to shooting it, I realized, oh gosh, this whole thing is pretty much, uh, it's a movie about perseverance. Mm. It's a movie about perseverance, really, more than anything else. And that's, it's a trait I'd like to, um, elicit more in myself. <laughs> so I thought maybe the movie would help. Hey, that's Dermot Martin. I'm offering you a role in my new motion picture. You think you could just walk up here and hire me? No. What if we let you direct? When you're making a movie about people who have to be creative, I think that you have to create an environment where everybody feels safe and everybody feels uh, comfortable to express themselves. And I felt that every day on set, we wanted to be there. There was, yeah. this, there was this feeling that we all were doing something that we really felt passionate about. One of the things, though, that I do like about the movie is that we have all these, what people would call comedians or funny people in it, but they're not necessarily there just to make you laugh. It was a really uh, well-rounded ensemble cast, and everybody had occupied their own turf. To watch these characters make something that they're passionate about is something that is in itself entertaining. And so to be in the process of making something about people who are tr in the process trying to make something, there was times where like the, where the movies, where the movie th that we were making in the movie itself, the lines blurred. And I think that that was actually a, a healthy environment to make the movie in. Yeah.